Welcome to Tessin channel. In this video, I will share with you the cellular technology, a new era in defect modeling and defect diagnosis for silicon test. In silicon test, we use the term DBBM. It is the number of faulty chips that escape the manufacturing test per million chips. Cost of escape faults is much higher and can put the whole business at risk. Defect model is unavoidable to develop a manufacturing test patterns using any machine-based automatic test pattern generation. Current manufacturing test mathematically models logic behavior while ignoring any cell internal structure and circuitry. With the new technology and application requirements, this fault modeling becomes inefficient. Moreover, it was reported that in technologies below 90 nanometer, cell internal defects are the dominant defects. Consequently, the generated patterns do not necessarily cover all necessary tests for a given cell. That is why other techniques like N-Detected was proposed to alleviate this deficiency. For diagnosis and yield improvement, one cannot efficiently diagnose and root cause a cell internal defect without cell information. This all mandate a more accurate modeling. Cellular test came to address these requirements by introducing physical aware fault modeling. It is another level of abstraction to the physical defects. It extracts cell internal defect based on its layout. Fault models become more accurate and re represent cell internal defect at the transistor and interconnect level. A typical 3 input MUX traditionally modeled with 12 static defects will be modeled with 42 defects. This increases the quality of test which reflects on both the DBM and the diagnosis resolution. One of the advantages of cellular test is its capability to add this fin fit defect for smaller geometry where the fabrication steps become more complex which introduce new defect mechanisms. The cellular test flow began by generating a cellular defect model in format called UDFM, User Defined Fault Model. This model then used to generate test pattern that targets all testable physical defects for both cell internal and cell boundaries. Using UDFM model with test patterns and failure file enables the cellular diagnosis. A user needs to generate the UDFM model once for a given standard cell library and reuse it for all designs using this library. This approach proven to increase test quality, which means lower DBM and it's also increased diagnosis resolutions that helps achieving quick yield ramping. Mentor implemented this technology into its cell model gen tool. Defects are extracted from the cell physical information stored in a layout extracted spice parasitic netlist. It then runs optimization and filtering algorithms based on DFM and other physical rules to extract a practical and realistic defect list. This list is then simulated to get the required pattern to test and detect them. This data among other diagnosis related data are stored in an encrypted UDFM model which is used in both test pattern generation and failure diagnosis. With cellular diagnosis, one can efficiently root cause a failure to the failing polygon as shown. We are using cellular diagnosis, a short between polysilicon and diffusion contact was identified. Several chips in the market already demonstrated the value of cellular test for automotive and other application, starting from 350 nanometer to 10 nanometer while working on the 7 nanometer. There are more than 30 technical publications based on industrial silicon results. Some of them shows a reduction in DBM by more than 800 in 32 nanometer technology. Above all, it shows a unique detection of more than 10% of static defects and more than 20% in delay defects. Among the 30 plus publications, I recommend those two which discuss the technology and its flow supported by millions of silicon chip results and analysis. For a complete list of publications or should you have any question, please contact your mentor local application engineer. Thanks.